Hello world, this is an Astro up to level 60 guide. This is Shadowbringers 5.2. For the glamour set, we have the Moonlit Mago Moglob, the Endless Summer Glasses, Far Easter Maiden's Tunic, the Tantalus Cuffs and Tantalus Breeches, and the Far Easter Maiden's Boots. For the accessories, you can find them in the description as well as links to the rest. Disclaimer warning, spells, abilities, and or traits will not be shown due to progression and or reasons. With that out of the way, you will be able to see them in a dungeon example. Welcome to a Shadowbringers Skill Spotlight. At level 54, your Malefic 1 upgrades to Malefic 2, deals magic damage with a potency of 170, it has a cast time and a recast, it just has fancier animation with higher potency. At level 58, we get a Collective Unconscious, this is kind of a long explanation so just bear with me, creates a Celestial Ring around the caster, it is instant cast with 60 second off global. Now we're going to start off with our Diurnal Sect, we're going to read it from the top otherwise you might get confused but once we know how to use it it's actually pretty simple to use in diurnal sect reduces damage taken by 10 percent applies the wheel of fortune to self and party members who enter it for a duration of 18 seconds now wheel of fortune itself does the actual regen cure potency of 100 duration of 15 seconds so we're going to do this one and we're going to do the diurnal sect first and then we're going to do the nocturnal sect but that means is the bubble itself the collective unconscious in diurnal sect will be applying a shield that reduces 10% of incoming damage to anybody that enters it or anybody that's already inside it. So let's go ahead and pop the collective unconscious. Collective unconscious, the bubble around us, the ring, is going to lower damage taken by 10%. And now the wheel of fortune, so if I remove the ring, collective unconscious dissipates. And we have left is the wheel of fortune under diurnal sect that does a region over time naturally from most diurnal sect effects and now we're going to read the rest of it so in nocturnal sect effect it grants a healing over time and applies a wheel of fortune to self and party members who enter it so it's the opposite of diurnal sect instead of giving us a shield when the bubble is up it's going to give us a region when the bubble is up during nocturnal sect so now a v collective unconscious gives a region as you can see there and now once i remove the bubble itself all i'm left with is the wheel of fortune this will reduce incoming damage by 10 percent in this state just make sure that if people get inside the bubble or people are within the bubble to get that Wheel of Fortune to 10% damage reduction. Otherwise, they won't get it. And finally, level 60, we get Celestial Opposition. Restores own HP and the HP of all nearby party members with a cure potency of 200. It is instant cast with a 60 second off global. In a Diurnal Sect, we're going to apply a Regen, a cure potency of 100, duration of 15 seconds. Cannot be stacked. So we're, gonna, we're going to pop Celestial Opposition here. And it's going to give us a regen over time, as well as the initial 200 potency healed to ourselves and pretty much anybody within distance. And it has the same distance as, for example, your Helios or your respected Helios. Under your Nocturnal Sects, we're going to do a Magic Barrier, which nullifies damage equaling to 125% of the amount of HP restored, duration of 30 seconds. It'll be executed while under the effect of either Diurnal Sect or Nocturnal Sect. So just like the previous under Diurnal Sect, it's going to apply a regen but this one we are nocturnal so we're typically going to expect a shield and there it is So before we begin, let's talk about the new off globals. And this is basically just going to be rotation. If you need an example of all the previous off globals and all the previous spells up until now and how to use them effectively in a rotation, you can look at the previous videos. They should be at the top right corner for that. So let's move on to the next segment. So we're going to talk about the uh, priority list on how to use the new off globals in an actual rotation. So we're talking about Celestial Opposition and Collective Unconscious. The best way to use this is to jumble them all together keep all the 60 second off globals together that means lucid dreaming as well so we're going to toss a regen or a shield if you're in nocturnal sect i typically run through diurnal sect through you know msq and new content and dungeons and such because it is more mana efficient so we're going to toss with a regen so let's use a aspective benefit on a tank or whatever target you're running through that is going to take most of the aggro uh, sometimes the tank dies and we use a lucid dreaming into celestial 
composition. Then we wait, we cast another instant cast or a normal spell, and then we toss the collective unconscious last. By tossing the unconscious last, it means that we can keep the bubble up if we need to for a room wide stack mechanic or even a tank buster. So here's the example. Dot and collective unconscious. You can do something like Sinistry into Collective Unconscious on a tank, but it all basically flushes down to you putting all the 60 off globals on the same cooldown. So you can kind of manage things quite easily because you need to uh, realize that this is getting a little bit hectic. You have all these card buffs that you need to toss off. You need, you need to manage your party's health bar, the tank's health bar. Things are getting complicated pretty slowly, but over time it will be a heavy burden on you if you start to slow down or fall behind. Hello everyone, this is a post commentary on the Lost City of Amdapur Hard. Uh, my original video or sound, I should say, got chopped off. My microphone died halfway through and I had to replug it back in, but by the time that happened I went through the entire dungeon so the sprite in the center actually does an AoE uh, and we're going to see that here real soon I'm gonna to toss my card I'm gonna get ready for tossing off global so we're gonna do an instant cast we're gonna do the celestial lucid dreaming and then we're gonna do the bubble for lastly here so the banish three hits everyone in a circle not exactly a room-wide AoE, but it still hits in a pretty damn close circle. So the bubble mitigates a bit of damage there. Going to dot that target, dot this one. They're starting to jumble together, but we're going to dot that last one and toss my off globals. I toss that card there, and I'm basically just going to do as I'm able to with my off globals coming back up and available so we're going to use my lucid dreaming here into celestial real quick toss another spell and or instant cast in a bubble look around if you see anything happening like that sprite is about to do its ability if you don't see anything immediately take off the bubble and keep dpsing that is essentially how you use the off globals put them all jumbled up together so you don't clutter yourself Remember, the main focus behind Astro or any healer is to heal as much as needed. And while the tank or the rest of the party members are healthy enough, we want to prioritize DPSing. But that's not the only thing that Astro does at this point. Astro also has to focus on buffing the party as well. So there's, it's very, uh, it, it's multi, uh, or I should say, it's a ton of stuff. You don't want to stress yourself mid-fight. Just keep things very simple and clustered together. You want to look away from the eye mechanic, as always. And then just continue DPSing the single target. So we're going to push forward into the boss fight with the power of editing. Let's start off with the boss fight doing dots. Tossing our off globals into Celestial Lucid Dreaming and then do the bubble. Wait a few seconds. If there's nothing going through, then go ahead and keep DPSing. Renew our card. Toss my Divination. Toss the card. And then continue that roll. Do the light speed. The thing about light speed is that it is multi use priority. In this case, really no one's dying, no one's taking much damage, so I may as well use it for DPS. And remember, light speed turns all of your regular cast time spells into, into instant cast. As far as I'm concerned, the video is over. I'm just having a little bit of fun. Um, we should back up from that. So this is a good time for my bubble, but there's really nothing I can do. My bubble is unavailable. Let's heal my party back up as best I can and continue DPSing. 
So here my bubble is available. There's nothing going on. So I immediately take it off and continue DPSing. Like cure three, let's remove ourselves and do not apply the no stack circles. This is a three phase boss. So it comes back every single time. And every single time it continues to get stronger. So let's focus the add now. While you're doing this, mine the cards, mine the tank's health, and mine the rest of your party member's health. If you follow what I've been teaching you up until now, you really shouldn't have an issue. Besides the uh, the Celestial and the Collective Unconscious, just put all three of those together and everything else should seem a little bit less of a burden. And with that, that's everything. You guys have a good one. And as always, we'll see you guys next time for our next video. Hello world and thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe here. You can also donate if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's some more content for you to watch on the right side. If you're interested in joining my FC, the Tempest Talons, the info is in the top left. I'm mostly taking invites from my YouTube channel subs. And as always, y'all take care and good luck out there.